So I'm super excited to dive deeper in our joint partnership with Zendesk and our new bi-directional integration and how we're able to unify teams like customer service and engineering to deliver the right customer experience in the moments that matter. It's now more important than ever to improve your customer satisfaction and loyalty. Our joint integration will allow your team to have an integrated tool stack that gives them increased process and visibility into the real-time nature of what's going on during customer response. Not only that, it's going to help you unify your customer service and engineering team and giving them direct ways to engage with each other and have bi-directional communications to make sure that both systems and both teams are completely in the loop in real time. But not only that, we're gonna help pull your customer service and engineering teams to be more proactive, to proactively get out ahead of that customer and serve them with the right experience before you hear about complaints from your customers. And if you could see here, PagerDuty really sits at the center of your digital ecosystem, integrating across all the different tools that your organization may use, whether that be your engineering team wanting to live and work inside of chat ops like Slack and Microsoft Teams, or your customer service team wanting to live inside ticketing or inside Zendesk ITSM offering. And PagerDuty is really going to help orchestrate all of the communications and the response in real time and automate the workflows of these teams so that you can proactively serve the customer with the right experience. Research is showing that 51% of companies only become aware of an issue after they hear about it from your customers. Things like a shopping cart being broken or even an email outage that impacts your employees, you're only hearing about that half the time from your customers. And really your team should know about that before you hear about it from your employees or your customers complaining. But not only that, it's taking companies an average of 80 minutes to mobilize the right response teams when they need to respond to fix something. What if there was a world in which you leaned on PagerDuty and Zendesk to pull your team to be more proactive so that when that shopping cart goes down, you've already let your customers know that you're on it what the response is, and you're already working with your teams to automate those workflows to ensure that you fix the problem before even customers realize it. Or if you're having an email outage, before your employees complain to your internal help desk or IT team, they already know that the IT team is on it. And this is what really our joint partnership and integration is all about, focusing on improving your CSAT and making your customers happy, but really ensuring that both of those teams are being as proactive as possible. Now let's dive into a live demo, demoing our new capabilities with the PagerDuty and Zendesk bi-directional integration and telling that Bolt customer story. I want you to imagine that you're a customer service agent at Bolt. It's after hours and you're on call using the PagerDuty and Zendesk integration. And one of your premium online retailer customers you know, did a late night upgrade and they've noticed that their customers are now blocked from online checkout and they're receiving errors and they can't collect revenue. They realize, you know, after looking at some, at some things internally that the problem's not on their end. And unfortunately it's on Bolt's end. Because they can't, can't collect revenue, this is really urgent. So Nadine decides to file a tick out, ticket through the online portal. She files a ticket. She files a tag for the that there's something wrong with checkout. And she indicates that the priority of this is urgent. As Nadine submits that ticket, what's going to happen is the customer service agent at Bolt is going to get paged on their mobile phone, woken up at night, is going to acknowledge that incident on mobile. Now, as that incident is acknowledged, that agent's going to take out their computer, open up Zendesk, and immediately right here, they can see that PagerDuty has kicked off an incident. You can see all that information in our in agent, allowing that agent to live and work where they are and can submit a public reply to the customer. I'm on it. Thanks for escalating. Submit that as a pending ticket. Now, as that service agent is doing their investigation, you know, maybe they're going and you know looking to see if they can reproduce the problem. They determine that they can reproduce the problem and that it might be impacting multiple customers. That agent right inside of Zendesk can add a note. This is reproducible. 
escalating to engineering as it might be impacting multiple customers. Add that note. And can escalate directly to engineering from within Zendesk. Uh, she's not quite, you know, the customer service agent is not quite sure which engineer to escalate to, but they can choose to escalate it to the e commerce platform escalation team because there's something going wrong with the e commerce platform. Escalate to engineering, adding the appropriate engineering on call for the e-commerce platform and the problem that's going on with checkout as a responder to this incident. Now what's gonna happen is because this is escalated to engineering, the customer service agent also wants to keep key stakeholders in the loop. So from within Zendesk, that customer service agent can run a major incident retail stakeholders response play. What that's gonna do is automating the workflows of automatically subscribing the right stakeholders to this incident, the, the account manager, the customer success manager, as well as the engineers who are involved in this response, keeping everybody in the loop. Now, as that customer service agent has escalated to engineering, engineering also got paged and can see that an incident inside of Slack, which is often where engineering is living, that you know the premium online retails customers can't check out. So that you know, engineer can acknowledge the incident right from Slack, can add a note. As that engineer is doing their investigation, let's say they notice that this problem is actually impacting multiple customers and that they're struggling to resolve the problem. Need to get everyone on a bridge to hash out what is going on here right inside of Slack and add that note and automate the workflows around getting everybody on that bridge. The engineer can run a response play called the big red button, bit red, what we're calling here the big red button response, run that response play. And that's gonna automate workflows of engaging, kicking, engaging the right stakeholders and getting the customer support agents, the customer success manager, the account manager, and the other key stakeholders on that conference bridge so that they can work together to get to resolution. While this is going on, everything is being tracked inside of PagerDuty. Inside of PagerDuty, we can see here's the incident. We can see that a conference bridge was kicked off. We can see who the responders are who the customer liaison is on the call, who is engaged and escalated to from the customer service agent to the e-commerce platform team. You can see that there's an incident commander that's on that call and all of the notes that were coming from both Zendesk as well as inside of Slack from engineering. Now, as the team is on this conference bridge trying to figure out what's going on with checkout, they work together and get to resolution and realize that it was a problem with a recent bad deploy. So as the engineer decides to mark this incident as resolved, they can add a note to, to share more context about what happened. This was due to a bad deploy in the West Geo region. It's fixed for all customers. Now that engineer can also post that resolution note as a status update to our status dashboard. But before I do that, I'd like to show you that while this whole response was going on, our status dashboard was tracking the incident as it was progressing and giving those status updates. Now, when that engineer des decides to resolve the incident, the incident will be resolved and our status dashboard is also going to clear, showing you that all your business services are now operational and that problem with checkout is now resolved. Those stakeholders and everybody who's involved with that response are also getting those updates. And inside of Zendesk, our new bi-directional integration is keeping Zendesk completely in sync about what's going on with the response. So as we can see here, just refreshing the page, that this incident is now resolved inside of PagerDuty.
with a complete timeline of events and the agent can see that resolution note. You can see that you know, this was due to a bad deploy in the West Geo region and now it's fixed for all of the customers. Now, as a customer service agent, I may wanna customize this response, provide a little bit of a touch to the customer before I close out the ticket. This is now resolved for you. Um, our engineering team uh, said it was due to a bad deploy and it won't happen again. Sorry about that. And that customer service agent is gonna submit that ticket as solved. Ticket solved, pager duty incident solved, both, both systems completely in sync and up to date about the response. Thanks for tuning in.